friend, I am so glad that you have decided to join me today in this amazing drawing adventure. Yeah, because we're going to be creating something. Well, wailing actually. It's wailing, it's crying, it's very upset. In fact, it is a wailing watermelon. A wailing watermelon. So, would you kindly grab something to draw with and something to color with and let's make some art. This episode is brought to you by ArtasticKids.com. If you're a parent, guardian, homeschool family, or a classroom teacher looking for art lessons and resources, begin your journey by finding free art lessons, tips, advice, and more at ArtasticKids.com. All right. We are going to be creating a wailing watermelon. Here we go, wailing watermelon. I need a marker. Hmm, there's one. Okay, grab something to draw with. We are going to be drawing a wailing watermelon. One curving line and another. We're gonna start off with the eyes today. Two big curving lines for the eyes. Curve underneath them. Yes, we are making this up on the spot because that's what we do when we're artists. We just gotta go with it sometimes. And that's just, as you're drawing, some of your creative energy just comes out and you just get used to drawing without a preconceived idea or plan. You just gotta like, I pick the words wailing and watermelon, put them together and we're just gonna make it up from there. On the spot, right in front of you guys. This is how magic happens. Okay, one circle in each eye. And then underneath each eye, we're gonna draw some dripping tears here with some wobbly lines. And then you go ahead and color in the dark of those eyes, leaving just those circles nice and white. And anytime you need me to pause or slow down, just hit that play button. And you can watch me do a step as many times as you would like. Yeah. And of course, anytime you wanna add your own artist flavor, go ahead and do that. That's the cool thing about being your own artist. You can do whatever you want. Okay, big exaggerated tears flying up here. Bah! Why? Because it's wailing, it's crying, it is so sad. Uh, big, big tears coming down. Okay, in each one, we're gonna draw a curving triangle at the top or on the side in these cases. Because, Tears are shiny, so we gotta give it some shininess, and those are gonna stay white, nice and white. I know right now it doesn't look like a watermelon, but don't worry, we're gonna get there right now, almost, sort of. Okay, big mouth, curving line, curving at the bottom, curve up and down. On the inside, we're gonna draw a lowercase letter M. Draw two big teeth with some squares, and then you can color in the dark of the mouth, leaving just those squares nice and white. Woohoo! Yes! Okay, now we're gonna do the watermelon part now. So we're gonna draw a big, giant, curving line. Up, down, back up again, and then across. I wanted these tears in front of, like coming off the face, that's why we drew them first versus um, later. Now maybe on the ground here, instead of a shadow, we're gonna have a giant puddle of tears because it's been crying for so long. <laughs> we'll add some shiny spots, woo! Perfect, lovely, wonderful. What was he doing? Watermelon! I remembered. Guys, I got lost. I'm back. Doesn't that ever happen to you where you're just like, okay, where am I? What was I doing? I was doing something important. It's like when you're hmm, disappear into your own imagination for a second, or for more than a second. Sometimes many, many minutes. 
then I show up again, I'm like, whoa, where did I go? Okay, two lines curving along the edge. So the dark drawing and the lighter whitish part, and then we'll have, this will be like the red fleshy part of the watermelon. So in this red part here, we're gonna draw our watermelon seeds, wherever you like it. Mine aren't organized and they're in a line, so they're linear. I imagine that fruit and veggies grow mathematically. But if you don't have mathematical, symmetrical vegetables, fruit, melons, then you draw your seeds however you want. Maybe one of your seeds accidentally like got cried out and it fell into the puddle of tears. Yeah, so you can do these kinds of things in art. Just make it up. And when people ask you why, just make up some make up a reason. That's all you gotta do when you're an artist. Pretty much. Okay. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna have an art critic say something, but they know that's true. They know it's true. Okay. Once you're done, you can go ahead and color in the entire artwork using your favorite art making mediums and colors.
And once you're done, your wailing watermelon is done.